Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor with Internal Revenue Service. Welcome to my YouTube station. Um, this is the home of the five minute or less video. I'm a former IRS agent. I worked at IRS for a decade. I've been in private practice for four decades this August. I will have been doing this for 50 years. Um, I have a whole team of former IRS agents on staff. Many of you have come to me because you've seen me on all my news videos. Uh, I mean, on all the news stations, I've been on many. You can look at my great team and my videos at 777irs.com. I do these videos for three reasons, so you don't get ripped off. Uh, I tell you the truth, and I give you insider information, really, when it's applicable, and you can make your calendarly appointment with us anytime. Anyway, today I want to talk to you about if you are... I'm going to go ahead and need an offer and compromise and you need to go ahead reduce your debt and you're finding all these people wanting to go ahead and settle your debt by calling you or sending you notices and letters uh, let me tell you that the people that are trying to do this most of them are lead generation companies and be wary of lead generation companies because they're selling your information to whoever they need to sell their information to so basically how it happens, uh, they find out that you have a federal tax lien filed against you. How in fact do they do that? They go ahead and uh, from public records, they find out a federal tax lien is filed. And once that lien is filed, there will be a, a letters that you will get be pouring out. You'll start getting calls and everybody will call you because everyone is trying to go ahead and want you to sign up with their company with you really not knowing much about them. And there's where the trap begins. So I'm giving you this warning. If you've received letters from companies, beware because you don't know who you are going to really get in bed with. So if you get a lien filed, I guarantee you you'll have at least anywhere from five to ten companies reach out to you and then will calls will stop. Well, let me just let you know what has to happen at this point if in fact you're going to hire a tax resolution company and you're going to start diving on the internet to do this lord knows how many calls i've gotten on this phone from people in fact who have been ripped off here's the questions that you want to go ahead and ask these questions uh, when you're trying to hire someone of course other than us First of all, ask who you're speaking to. Are they an attorney, a CPA, or an enrolled agent? If the answer is no, then your, your person doesn't know what they're talking about right away. They actually have a sales script in front of them, and they're trying to find out how much they can get from you by reading that sales script and getting the answers. So they have to be an attorney, an enrolled agent, or a CPA, or they can't even represent you. Then next, ask them, uh, based on what they're hearing, what you can go ahead and what they can expect. Let me just tell you something so you have to know this. If unless you give them your current financial statement, either a form, IRS form 433F, 433A, or 433A OIC, they can't tell you and hang up the phone and don't let anyone represent you until they've looked at your case if you owe tax debt. IRS is going to use that forum to determine the outcome of your case. Once again, you need to give that firm a 433F, a 433A, or a 433OICA to make a determination on what's going to happen with your case. Most firms don't do that. They want to kind of guess how much money you have, then send you a fancy retainer and say, we can help you. The, the problem is, that's a lie. For instance, we couldn't take your case unless I see that financial statement. Why? I have to know what to expect because I know how your case is going to end when I see that financial statement because I've worked about 10,000 cases. Peter Salinger and myself probably together have worked at least 15,000 cases. Peter worked at least 2,500 offers and compromise with their firm. My point to the whole thing, if you're going to hire a tax resolution company, make sure two things exist. You're either talking to an attorney, a CPA, or an enrolled agent. Why? They're the only people who can represent you before IRS. Then you have to make sure you've given them your financial statement. 
because with that financial statement, they will be able to tell you the outcome of your case. That should make perfect sense. Don't give any money to anybody until they've looked at that statement and they've told you exactly what the outcome of your case is going to be. Thank you for listening. Don't get ripped off. Give me a subscription if you would. That's important. Ask me questions. I try to get to all the questions. Maybe a day or two or three behind. The more popular you wind up, the more questions you get. So thank you for listening. Please don't get ripped off. Have a good day.